Yeah. Some yeah. jobs don't do that. Helpers are different on some jobs, which, I mean, it, it's the same amount to live, so I don't get that. But, uh, right. <laughs> um, yeah, Jed usually wound up, when we were in North Dakota, he, he was bringing in almost $3,000 a week helping me. But you got to hear how much North Dakota costs to live. <laughs> oh, it's stupid money how much it costs to live up there. But, what were they paying you, 20 and 150 Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it was. 20, 100 and, so $20 an hour, $150 a day per diem, plus two hours of travel time. We worked uh, 7 14s. 7 14s. Right? Yeah. We were making a ton of money. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <coughs> that is a split check welder or an employee welder. Basically, you hire out underneath the company. So, um, you got to tell them the difference between the paperwork. Oh, you man. go in as an employee, you get a stack of paper, and it's like a whole roll that just came out of the printer. Holy <laughs> crap. Like, they gotta seriously buy, like, a whole new, like, stack of paper every time they get an employee. <laughs> and you got, I mean, you'll, if you don't know how to spell your name before you go in there, by the end of it, you'll know everything. You'll have memorized your social security number, your date, your birthday, and uh, you'll know how to spell your name frontwards, backwards, upside down, <laughs> every way you can think of. But... As an employee welder, <coughs> they will provide almost everything, mm -hmm. except for the truck and the welding equipment and like your bevel machines, like everything that you need to get your job done, you have to provide, but they're going to provide welding rod, they're going to provide grinding discs, buffing wheels, uh, clear lenses for your hood, wedges, uh, yep, wedges, uh, stingers, gloves, oxygen acetylene. Oxygen acetylene. What else they gonna provide? Mm. Sometimes you even get fuel. Oh, that was the other thing in North Dakota. We got yeah. a fuel card. We were getting paid and saying, and then we were getting free fuel. Yeah, and then we were getting free fuel. They gave us a credit card that we paid with fuel, so that was awesome. So uh, some companies will do that too. So they get you propane. Yeah, propane everything. So <coughs> an employee welder. It's, an, it's a split check. It's a split check pay, I guess is how you could say that. Um, I mean, they provide damn near everything. It's a great, I mean, you can make a lot of money doing that. Uh, the first two years I broke out and started welding, I was a split check welder. Uh, the only thing is, is there's no way to hide your taxes. I mean, there are little things you can do here and there to hide your taxes. But mm, not that much. Like, I, I mean, don't hide your taxes. I mean, like, tax write-offs and, like, things that you can do to bring your taxes down. What's nice about uh, split checks, though, is they deduct your taxes. They do. Guys, my first two years, I paid $45,000 in taxes. <coughs> uh, that, that was by the end of the year, and then I got a $10,000 return. But... Either way, that's freaking thirty-five thousand. That's that'd have paid for most of my truck. That'd have paid for my fifth wheel cash money. Jeez. So <coughs> that's kind of an employee welder. Hope that kind of makes a little sense. Uh, okay, now the job I'm on right now, I'm a straight contract welder, meaning that I basically have hired underneath uh, the company that I'm working for, but they don't have to provide health. Oh, that's the other thing, employee welders. They will provide health insurance for you. Like you have some I get pretty good stuff. I get health insurance. They've got a twenty-five thousand dollar life insurance policy on me in case something happens. They've got dental insurance. They've got eye exam insurance. On this is the company I'm working for right now. So I've got all those. They supply two pairs of FR pants, two uh, two shirts that are FR. They give me a jacket that is the company's jacket, but it's a uh, FR also. This is all brand new stuff. This isn't used. That's probably know. like five hundred dollars worth of clothes. Jeez, yeah, no kidding. And then um, what else? Hard hats, gloves, safety glasses, yeah. clear shields. If I if I rip my gloves, I go in and get new ones for free. If I scratch my glasses and can't see out of them, I get new ones. Hard hats, everything's the same. Yeah, it's pretty As long awesome. as you return it, you get a new one. Yep. So, that being said, contract welders. That is what I'm doing right now. <coughs> um, 
I make a lot of money. And the reason I like contract welding is because I, most of the time as a split check welder, I was never able to really get over about 130, 140,000 a year, which is still great money, don't get me wrong. But as a contract welder, I'm breaking 200, 250 a year. Um, that being said, I have to provide $1 million uh, 1 million, 2 million is what they call it. It's a liability insurance <coughs> on my company, meaning if something blows up, I have this much insurance, you know. And then I have to provide a million dollars of commercial insurance on my truck. And uh, that, that all adds up to about 500 bucks a month, something like that. Depending on what company you go through. Yeah, depending on what company you go through. I go through a Texas based company. And if anybody's needing insurance, I'll send you this guy's number. He's a freaking stud. Uh, they don't do the million dollar on your truck, but they do do the, the one million, two million, two million aggregate and all that. Um, I think I pay like 180 bucks a month or uh, I'm trying to remember how much it is. Maybe it was two or three, I don't remember, but I think 3,000 a year and you're paid up or even less than that, it might even be two. I'll look into that and I'll let you guys know, but if you guys want that, just email me or whatever and I'll I'll send you his number. But <clears throat> I have to provide insurance. Um, oxygen acetylene, I have to provide. Welding rods, I provide. Guys, everything that is welding related, I provide. Now, I got one of the struggles of that. Um, so when we did our rig tour, everybody, if you ever saw that, if you didn't, there's one on here called rig tour. Yep. Um, if you see that, you'll notice that Jake mentions in there that he's got one oxygen bottle and one acetylene bottle. Hate and it. We work six days a week. We don't work Sundays, but most stores aren't open Sunday, Saturday or Sundays. So, uh, which we work 12 hours a day. So we have to figure out a time to take off of work in order to get the supplies we need um, so that we can still stay functional. That's it. That's it. But, um, I'm trying to think what else. So yeah, basically, contract welders, you provide everything, and, but, at the same time, that's 70 to $100 an hour, $110 an hour, uh, great money. And, <clears throat> if you play it right, Everything is a write-off. Your taxes are gonna get cut in half because going out and eating is a write-off. Um, the fuel you drive back and forth is a write-off. The weld machines, tools, everything you buy is a write-off. And uh, basically anything you buy, you can figure out how to write that off. But um, anyways, guys, I mean, that's just kind of uh, the difference. I'm, I mean, it's completely up to you how you want to do it. If you do do straight contract, meaning you're a contract welder, get an accountant. I mean that, you will lose your ass if you do not have somebody that understands taxes and all of that. So, keep all your receipts, get in the habit of keeping receipts, get in the habit of uh, basically just just talk to your accountant. Make sure you have a good accountant. Uh, you're gonna, when you get your paychecks, you're, that's the other thing, is when you're a contract welder, nobody takes your taxes out for you. You have to take care of your own taxes. <coughs> Anymore, Obamacare, uh, you go to making that kind of money and you don't have health insurance, you're gonna get fined out the hoorah uh, for not having health insurance. You gotta have health insurance. I mean, they're, there are definitely downsides and upsides to it. Um, my favorite thing is just being able to start eliminating taxes. Everybody, everybody don't like Donald Trump because he won't show them their tax return. Well, you guys would be pissed if you saw his tax returns because that dude is intelligent, he is smart, and he is doing everything legal he knows the tax system. He knows the tax system. He knows what he can write off and knows how to write it off. All the rich people do. Anybody that is rich and wealthy, I promise you, understands taxes. 
they understand taxes and they have amazing accountants that understand taxes so I would suggest you guys start studying taxes <laughs> because we're all gonna be rich ladies and gentlemen we all chasing that money and if you guys are smart about it and you invest in other things while you weld you guys are gonna need some serious tax strategies because you guys are gonna have thick pocketbooks you're gonna have so much money falling out of your ears you ain't even gonna know what to do with it and you don't want the government taking all of it so anyways we love all you guys we're trying to look out for the best of why would you put that <laughs> trying to look out for this new family we got looking out for the new family we got that's a great way of putting it <laughs> so uh anyways guys be blessed like subscribe comment share this with your friends uh man if you guys got younger friends high school friends middle school friends uh get them started young get them on here and get them show them a new way to make money tell them that they don't need to have a freaking you know master's degree to go make 40 grand a year tell them that if they'll learn how to do something like this they can go make hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year so anyways guys be blessed love all you guys and uh we'll talk to y'all later thanks bye bye